Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. All right, we're going to look at this card here. Uh, this is the card uh, that I had running that one program at that one time where I was very, very lucky. Um, but the reason I'm choosing this card is one, is, is it seemed to work at least once. And more importantly, it uses static RAM instead of dynamic RAM. Uh, these are two 114 static RAM chips. They were very popular back in the day. These are um, 8K by 1. Um, are they 4K by 1? No, they're 4K by 1. 4K by 1. So we have uh, 4, 4, 4, and 4. So this is a 16K card. And each one of these banks is uh, address selectable. And I talked about these switches here being the upper uh, uh, nibble of the address. So this looks like it's set to um, F, E, D, and C. So F000, E000. So I think we'll be able to um, use this card and uh, give it a try. Uh, these particular, this particular card edge is the worst that I've seen so far. Uh, this one is very oxidized. Uh, so maybe that was most of our trouble. So go ahead and fix this up and pop it in. I cleaned up that edge connector on the RAM card and installed it here. So now uh, the cards that we have on the back plane are the front panel card, the buffer card for the LEDs, the MPU card, a CPU card, and a RAM card. And so let's turn it on. Uh, everything looks stable. That's good. Reset. Stable. That's good. Um, I think I'll need to reposition you a bit. Just a second. There, that's better. And now you can see the uh, the two LEDs here in the back. I'm not sure what the yellow LED is, but I know the, the uh, uh, red one is going to be addressing. So if this card is addressed, we'll see that red light. So let's put in F000 and say examine. And there we go. We get a... Uh, address uh, in memory. Um, we should have a um, zero zero. Something random is going to show up, but we have a zero zero in there now. Let's put in a, uh, a three zero three instruction. Let's deposit that, and it did deposit it correctly. Let's put in zero, and we'll do a deposit next. And it put in the 00 and incremented the address counter. And then we'll put in the F00. And we'll deposit next. Let's go back and look at our program. We'll do an examine. Here's our jump instruction. Here's a 0. And then here's an F0. So the jump instruction is 8 bits. And the address is 16 bits. So it takes 2 bytes to execute that. So that's why there's 3 bytes in the memory. So if we go back up to... Uh, the beginning of our program and we single step it. You can see that all it's going to do is it's going to go round and round and round. It's going to see that jump instruction. It's going to go round and round and round and round and round. Let's hit run. There we go. The system is operating quite well now. Um, we're cycling very quickly through uh, just a few bits and it's operating that jump instruction over and over and over and over and over again. This is great. Okay, let's try writing a different a different program. Let me see if I can remember it 30 years ago in my brain. Uh, let's do a reset. Uh, we'll go back to our uh, uh, F000. Uh, this time we're going to put in a 333 instruction. Deposit that in there. A 333 instruction is a um, read from an I.O. port. Now we're going to give it an address of FF. Deposit next. So we're going to read FF. Read FF are these switches here. Okay? Then we're going to output to FF, which are these LEDs here. The output instruction is a, a 3 2 3 instruction, if I remember right. So we'll do a deposit next to address FF. And then we'll do a jump instruction to 0 F. So let's look at our program. Input from FF, output to FF, jump 
to 0 F. Run this and it works. So uh, it's going to read these switches and output them So our MSI 8080 is quite healthy right now. Uh, this was always the first program that I would ever run when I, when I got the system um, and was nervous about it operating. Um, this, is the, this, is the, uh, this is the program I would run. Um, and I still have it memorized today, 30 years later. That's great. All right. So um, I guess the next step is to... Um, I think uh, we'll, we'll go a bit further maybe into the theory of programming a, an 8080 processor. Um, and then uh, we will need to add a, a serial I.O. card. The serial I.O. card will allow us to hook up to a terminal. Um, and then we will need to get the disk drive up and running so we can boot a program. Um, as soon as we have the um, a serial I.O. in here, we might be able to write a little front panel switch program. Uh, to talk to that I.O. Um, much like we did here, we did an input instruction and an output instruction. Uh, we should be able to do an input and an output into the, uh, into the I.O. Um, for the RS-232 and, and give that a try. Anyway, I'm very encouraged. This is, this is really great. I guess the uh, bits are inverted somewhere along the lines. I don't know if these are uh, have an inverting driver. Um, or the switches are upside down when you read them, but there's uh, something is inverted in there. Uh, you can see some of the LEDs actually doing something like an input. We could uh, single step this. We could we could halt it. Uh, we could single step. So we're on memory instruction one. We just did a input from FF. There we go, and we have an input request on the bus. Uh, now we're doing another memory fetch one, which is get another instruction uh, opcode. We're doing a memory read. Uh, this one's our output instruction to FF. Um, here we do an output instruction on the bus. We'd, before we did an input, now we're going to do an output. And uh, now we're doing another uh, first step to grab another opcode, which is the jump instruction. Um, and we get to repeat. Great. All right.